Hi, I'm Leanne Carroll. I'm the lead counselor at Haltom High School. Today, I'm going to walk you through the new graduation plan called House Bill 5. This plan is for our current 8th grade students who will be entering 9th grade in 2014-2015. Let's start this conversation by looking and comparing the two graduation plans. On our current graduation plan, every student needs four credits of English. They need English 1, English 2, English 3, and English 4. But notice on the new graduation plan, the students do still need English 1, 2, and 3, but they get to choose from an advanced English course. It does not have to be English 4. Four credits of math are needed on both plans. Science, four credits of science are needed on both plans. On the current plan, notice that there is four credits of social studies needed. You need world history, world geography, U.S. history, one semester of U.S. government, one semester of economics. But notice on the new plan, only three credits of social studies are required. The students will need U.S. History, one semester of U.S. Government, one semester of Economics, and they can choose between World Geography or World History. They will not be required to have both on the new plan. Notice the comparisons on both plans. They still need two languages other than English. They need one full credit of PE, one full credit of Fine Arts, both plans require that they have one semester of speech and one semester of health. Electives on the current plan are four credits. And then the electives on the new graduation plan with endorsement credits are 5.5 credits. On the current graduation plan, notice that technology, they have to have one full credit of technology. But on the new graduation plan, the House Bill 5 plan, they only need half a credit of technology. Now, let's look at this House Bill 5 graduation plan from the bottom to the top. The bottom starts off, this plan is called the foundation plan. So every student will be required to have these courses. Once again, we've already talked about English. They need English 1, English 2, English 3, and an advanced English course that they will be able to choose from a list of advanced English courses. They need three credits of math. They need Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. On the foundation plan, they need three credits of science. They need biology. Their second credit can be IPC or an advanced science course, and then another additional advanced science course to equal the three credits. And once again, that they need three credits of social studies. They'll take a full year of U.S. history, a semester of U.S. government, a semester of economics, and they will then choose between world geography or world history. As with the current plan, they need two credits of a language other than English. They still need one full credit of PE, one full credit of Fine Arts, a half credit of speech, which in our district we offer professional communications. We need a half credit of health, a half credit of technology, which leaves room for four elective credits on the foundation plan. Then the students will be required to get an endorsement. Along with this endorsement, there will be an additional credit in math that will equal their four mathematics credits. They need an additional credit in science that will equal to their four credits in science. And then the additional credits have to be related to the selected endorsement area. Altogether, this totals 26 credits to graduate on this graduation plan. Now, there are different levels of achievement that students can earn along with their endorsement. The first is considered the distinguished level of achievement. Still, 26 credits are required. 
To earn the, the distinguished level of achievement, students must complete requirements of the foundation program, plus make sure they complete Algebra 2 and they have to earn an endorsement. This will give the students a distinguished level of achievement. The next level of achievement is called the performance acknowledgement. This may be earned for extending performance on one of the following. Students can complete 12 hours of college coursework, including dual credit and advanced technical credit. They can get this performance acknowledgement on college AP exams, on PSAT or the ACT plan, SAT or ACT. The last way they can get the performance acknowledgement is for earning nationally recognized industry licensure or certification. Remember, the one thing that the students need to be responsible for is you need to realize that it's the responsibility of each college-bound student to research admission requirements as each college requirements may differ. House Bill 5, along with the foundation plan, has five endorsement areas that students can obtain. These are Arts and Humanities, Business and Industry, Public Services, STEM, and Multidisciplinary Studies. Every student will be required to complete a personal graduation plan before they enter their ninth grade year. Every student will be required to select an endorsement before their ninth grade year and students may graduate with more than one endorsement. Let's first look at Arts and Humanities. These are the different areas where a student can obtain an endorsement in the area of Arts and Humanities. They can take classes in Art, Dance, Music, Theater, Social Studies, languages other than English, and American Sign Language. This endorsement requires four credits related to the endorsement. The second endorsement is Business and Industry. These are the different areas where students can obtain a Business and Industry endorsement. Through Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources, Architecture and Construction, Arts, AV Technology and Communications, Business, Management and Administration, Finance, Hospitality, Tourism and Culinary Arts, Information Technology, Marketing, Sales and Service, Transportation and Logistics, which is Automotive Technology, and Advanced Broadcast Journalism or Newspaper. This endorsement also requires four credits related to the endorsement area. The third endorsement is called Public Service. A student can obtain a Public Service endorsement by taking classes in Education and Training, Health Science, Law, Public Safety, Corrections and Securities, Government and Public Administration, Human Services, and JROTC. This endorsement requires four credits related to the endorsement. The fourth endorsement area is called STEM. This stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Once again, the students can obtain a STEM endorsement by taking classes in these four areas, Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This endorsement requires Algebra 2, Chemistry, Physics, plus four credits related to the endorsement. The last endorsement is called Multidisciplinary Studies. To get this endorsement, you have to complete one of the following. You must complete four advanced courses from within one endorsement area or among endorsement areas which would not be in a program sequence, or two advanced courses from each of two endorsement areas, 
four credits in each of the four foundation subject areas to include English 4, Chemistry, and or Physics. And the last way to complete a multidisciplinary endorsement is from completing four AP courses to include one credit in each of the four foundation subjects. And again, this endorsement requires four credits related to the endorsement. House Bill 5 graduation program is, will replace the current recommended distinguished achievement and minimum plans. This begins in 2014-2015 for our current 8th grade students. It also allows and provides for current 9th and 10th graders to opt for a new graduation plan in lieu of the current plan that they are on. This is supposed to provide flexibility for students to pursue courses related to their interests and aptitudes and prepares BISD students for college and careers. Once again, I want to state that it is the responsibility of each college-bound student to research admission requirements as each college's requirements may differ. Now that I've walked you through the PowerPoint that went over all of the requirements for House Bill 5, I have hoped that I've answered all your questions and concerns. If I haven't, please feel free to contact the high school counseling office where your student will attend next year. All counselors will be more than happy to answer any question or concern that you still may have. Thank you.